<sighs> All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So we do have some breaking Jets news that just came out. It's looking like the team is bringing in defensive lineman Solomon Thomas, former third overall pick in the draft back in uh, 2017. And, you know, thinking about it, it was such a weird uh, sequence of events. You know, that was actually the season where the Jets landed Jamal Adams sixth overall. Uh, you know, Miles Garrett goes first. The Niners are picking second. They move back one spot with Chicago. The Bears move up for Trubisky. And then lo and behold, Thomas is the uh, the pick third overall. And of course, Robert Sala, you know, he was in charge of the defense at that time. Mike LaFleur was a part of the uh, was a part of the 49ers organization as well. So we have that connection. Uh, and I know what you could be thinking, you know, didn't work out with San Francisco. I mean, he, he, he wasn't even on the Niners last season, uh, arguably a bust. You know, just just not that very not very, not very good. I mean, last season with the Raiders, he didn't start in one game, but he did play in all seventeen. Okay, twelve quarterback hits, three and a half sacks, thirty four combined tackles. The reason why I like this signing so much, well, there's a couple reasons, but the 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 probably the biggest, he provides depth. He provides depth at a position of need. I look at the defensive line right now. Carl Lawson got hurt last year, missed the entire year. Vinny Curry got hurt, missed the entire season. So we started off the season with a team that had backups right from the get-go. If that happens again, right, Carl Lawson might not look the same. He might get hurt, whatever the case may be, training camp, some, just something goes wrong. We don't land an edge at the top of the draft. We don't land one at 4, 10. You know, we don't feel comfortable with any in you know rounds 2, 3. We don't trade for anybody. Solomon Thomas is a guy who has had a lot of playing experience. This coaching, I mean, the 49ers are not going to draft this guy years and years ago if they didn't watch any tape, right? Like they had to have had some sort of idea on how to use Thomas uh, initially, right? I mean, Salah is not going to, you know, be pounding on the table for Solomon if he had no interest. I mean, that's just not realistic. Okay. So he's joining the Jets. He's adding depth. He's giving you upside because I believe Sol whenever you're talking about former first round picks here, guys that are still relatively young entering their prime. Uh, I mean, he's going to be, I believe, 27 years old by the time the season kicks off. Um, you know, that's, that's a luxury in and of itself. You know, he is not 35. You know, we talked about Vinnie Curry before he was older. Uh, you're kind of hoping that he could recapture some of that magic, be a veteran leader, but no, with Solomon Thomas, you know, and, and realistically here, I'm not expecting 11, 12 sacks or anything like that, but he provides depth. He provides upside. He provides a system fit and he provides a, fam a familiar face with this Jets coaching staff. So I got to say, I love it. And I know it's not the, I know we're not bringing in a Miles Garrett. I know we're not bringing in a TJ Watt here, but you know, I, I think at this point in the process, we, we have to do our due diligence. We have to round out this team and add not only just talent, but depth as well, because at the end of the day, it ruined us last year. It absolutely ruined us. Corey Davis, season ending injury. Carl Lawson, Makai Becton, we talked about him earlier in uh, you know the video that uh, got put up this morning. Well, who else? LaMarcus Joyner, out for the season. Marcus May, out for the season. You know, so many guys missed time. Elijah Moore missed time. Zach Wilson missed time. Uh, it was crazy. It was, it was truly crazy. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Solomon Thomas to the New York Jets. I absolutely love it. Anyway, thanks so much. I appreciate it. And as always, go Jets.